Sometimes eBay can really be a pain. Every time I order bird seed on eBay, they always want their feedback. So there's that. eBay was the start of feedback online way back in the early days. It's a nice system to allow sellers and buyers to build trust with one another. There's good feedback and bad. We sellers kind of have the odds against us, though. Two ways we can get negative feedback. Do a bad job, or the buyer is a jerk and is having a bad day. Only one way to get good feedback, and that is to do every single thing correctly as a seller. The goal of this group is to do everything correctly as a seller. I want you to do that. That's important. The way you do one thing is the way you do everything in your business. I want you to be an expert at eBay and do every single thing to make the most money possible. And if you have questions, just ask. We have our Facebook group. You should join. It's free. But also ask questions here below on any video. I'm more likely to see your question and answer here on YouTube because I spend more time on YouTube messing with videos, rearranging things all the time. I don't care what it's about as long as it has something to do with eBay or even money or investing. That's fine. I don't give investment advice, but I'll sure tell you what I do. And I know quite a bit about those subjects. I want you to make the most money you can for your family's resources. They are critical to grow and protect, especially as the economic times get worse and worse as they are doing and have been doing for a few years now. As business gets more challenging, I think feedback is more and more important. I, I realize buyers don't leave feedback as often as sellers would like them to. That's okay. Move on. Don't worry about it. Don't ask buyers for feedback. Don't mention it. Don't do anything about it. Make every single transaction that occurs about your buyer, not about you, ever. And your excellence will pay off in the long run. You'll be a better seller than you would have been otherwise. And in the long run, you'll be a better seller than the majority of sellers on eBay. It's not that hard to do. You'll make more money in the long run. That's how empires are made. If you get bad feedback, you can and should respond. And I'm about to show you how to respond to feedback in a minute. That's pretty much a given. People sort of understand they need to respond to negative feedback, even if it's totally your fault. Whether it's your fault or not, if you totally mess up and it's your fault, you didn't ship something, you sold something, you can't find it or whatever, you deserve the negative feedback if you get it. And you should apologize for it. You should discuss it. You should reply to the feedback. You want potential new buyers to look at your feedback and see that you're responding to things like that. You're not just ignoring your buyers. You care for them, even the ones that you've messed up on. Surprisingly, this video is not about responding to negative feedback. But while we're on the subject, you need to do it properly. Be professional. Don't be a jerk, even if your buyer was a jerk. Now, if your buyer says anything derogatory in the feedback or curses, eBay will automatically take that down if you request it. That's not your problem. You can get that feedback removed. It's feedback that you may not deserve or feedback that you might deserve. Either way, you want to respond to that. And as I say, be professional, be succinct, be kind, keep emotion out of it. Say, forgive us. And speaking of that, don't say, I'm sorry or we're sorry. Say, please forgive us. Start your feedback in response to negative feedback. Start your reply with, please forgive us. That's so much more powerful. Those three words are far more powerful then we are sorry. Say, we work hard to not let this happen. Very rarely, sometimes something slips through. We just feel awful. And we'd like to add that we're a family business. We know what it's like to get something the way that you expected, and it's not the way you expected, and we're we're sorry. You know, you can say you're sorry later. Don't say, please forgive us a second time necessarily. Later in the response towards the end, just say, we're so sorry. If there's anything we can do to make this up to you, we would sure like to know. Let us know. Sincerely offered your name and actually you and your wife's name, you and your husband's name, whatever. Just if you have a roommate, put your roommate's name. It's good to show that you're sort of a, in a home family situation. It's good to show that. If true, if you can honestly do that, I think it's best to do that, to be from multiple people in a home versus just one, because it personalizes your feedback. It personalizes people who are reading your reply to that feedback. The point of this video is not about negative feedback, as I said. The point of this video is positive feedback. You will more often than not get positive feedback, or you won't be on eBay very long if you get more negative than positive. You may not know that you can reply to positive feedback as well as the negative, and I think you should in several situations. Here is a screen of some of my recent feedback that I've gotten in one of my 
selling accounts. One thing to note that's interesting, it has nothing to do with the feedback, but you'll notice there is a line through each of these prices. That means every single item we're looking at here just happens to be the result of the buyer accepting an offer or me accepting an offer that the buyer made. I promote using make offers a lot in this group, and this is why most of your sales will be through the offer system. You should consider putting the make offer option on every single item that you sell. Does that mean you'll take a little less than you're asking for? Well, of course. You don't have to take a lot less. You should always take something less if you allow offers. But the point of this video is every single feedback here, it's all positive, Actually, my whole account is all positive in, in the seller account, but notice there is a reply button next to every single feedback, even though they're positive, not negative. I think a lot of your positive feedbacks you should reply to. Now, if it's a buyer that's bought several items from you over time, I think that's a good buyer to reply to. It kind of keeps up the rapport that we appreciate the trust that you've shown in us. And so many times, we always want to earn your trust. We will continue to work hard to do so. Now, you can't respond and you shouldn't respond to every positive feedback or you wouldn't have time to list that mountain of unsold items sitting over there in your death pile. But eBay feedback can now be up to a paragraph long. They allow a lot of text possible on a feedback and buyers can even leave pictures now. I think videos now can be left. When eBay expanded feedback and allowed up to a paragraph of writing for feedback, I saw in a lot of YouTube channels on eBay videos from people who supposedly teach you how to do eBay. And they were complaining. They said, we don't like this long feedback. Well, why not? If you're doing your job, you want long feedback. You want people to tell others about how good of a job you did. You want them to use as much detail as needed to let others know that you did a great job packing your items safely or whatever. If you do a sloppy job, of course you don't want feedback to be long. You don't want any feedback if you do a bad job. But that's your problem and you need to get better at what you're doing. Don't go on YouTube and complain that you don't like long feedbacks. Just you need to improve your service so that you get better feedbacks. Now down at the bottom here, this is one of the longer feedbacks I received. And on this one, I would certainly reply to this person. This is very good feedback. As a matter of fact, the next two or three or four I show you are pretty good feedback on our service. It's not bragging. I practice what I preach. I make every listing as quality as I can. I list exactly the way I tell you to do so that I'm just, again, practicing what I preach. I get good results because I do what eBay wants us to do when it comes to every single listing in my selling accounts. It turns out this buyer has bought from me before. So let's read what she said, shall we? To everyone, I'm so impressed with the way these people handled their business with me. They gave me such a good deal, I had to come back for more. It didn't take any time to receive the purchase and it was wrapped up so well, you could tell they took their time getting it out to me. Now, what she meant was, I took my, we took our time wrapping it, but we shipped it very quickly. She said, I would give them an A plus on their reputation and I hope everyone will give them a chance and check them out. All I can say is great job and well done. That's great. I, I really appreciate what she said. Now to that, I will reply. It was long and she ordered from us before. You bet I'll reply. I'm going to click the reply button and send her a message thanking her. And we appreciate her trust and telling us about it and telling others about it. And we sure look forward to future deals with you. Something along those lines. But you don't see a reply button down here. You don't see a reply link on this long feedback like you do all these others. What in the world is the problem? Well, I've already replied. You can't reply more than once. I've already replied. So I'm going to scroll up and show you my reply. Now, when you click the reply link, eBay is funny. They always make you sign in again. I don't know why. You can buy or sell a thousand dollar item and eBay doesn't make you sign in again every single time. But the first time you click a reply to a feedback, whether it's positive or negative, eBay always wants me to sign in again. I don't know why that security is so important to eBay. I can leave initial feedback without signing in, but they don't want replies unless I've signed in again. So you might find that to be the case. It's not a big deal, but just expect you may have to sign in whenever you click the reply button. So here's what I wrote. I put the username at the beginning and I said, you are an angel. Now, what right do I have to say that? That seems a little hokey, right? It turns out her name is Angel. That's her first name. So it was kind of a 
you know, kind of kind of worked here. Now, I would have said more than I said. You are an angel. It is we who are extraordinarily pleased and grateful to be dealing with people such as you. I would have said more than that, but she's left feedback for us before that we've replied to. We've dealt with this lady. We've dealt with angel before. So I didn't go into as much detail as I might if she were a brand new buyer, leaving me long good feedback. So let's scroll down and see someone else. So by the way, there's there's the same lady's feedback. She's give she ordered two things in one package and here's the next feedback. She left us a whole paragraph here basically on her next feedback. I didn't reply because I just replied to the other one in the same package. But let's go down to this lady. She actually took a picture of her items. This was an expensive plate, a heron plate. They're made in Hungary. Beautiful hand-painted plates. And she said, this beautiful heron plate came and is perfect. Thank you so much for shipping so fast. As you can see from my pictures, I love to mix mixing. I love to mix my Queen Victoria and Rothschild birds serving pieces together. So I will look at your eBay site and share with my friends how happy I was doing business with you. And she took a picture of her wall. It's got the plate that she ordered from us and then all her other little plates and Queen Victoria items all around it that she's so proud of. Wow, that's fantastic. Thank you. I love seeing a buyer that's happy. Do you? If you don't, you probably shouldn't be in this business. This should please you. It shows that you are doing the right thing. If you don't get any of this sort of thing, you probably should do more as a seller to personalize, write a personal note or something inside your packages. You should go a little bit more out of your way. This is important. Again, it's how empires are made. So I replied, we love that combination, meaning the pictures. We wish we had an eye for your flair. We truly do not, but we appreciate it in other people. We are thrilled it was you who ordered the plate. And thanks so much for your trust with us. Sincerely offered, Janie and Greg. Now, on this plate, it happened to be all me. My wife often helps with wrapping. She does a great, she helps me a lot. But this one happened to be all me. I'm the one that photographed it, listed it, wrapped it, took pictures, shipped it off, you know, did the mailing label and everything. But I'm always going to say, sincerely offer Janie and Greg on every single correspondence that I do, whether I had soul hand in it, or if we did it, or if my wife did it by herself, because I want to show that we're a home, we're a family, as I told you earlier. Now, that's three right there. Three out of six feedbacks so far are these extra long, high quality feedbacks. I'm really grateful for that. Scroll down a little bit more. Here's another one. These sellers are wonderful. The item of collector's quality. Okay, this was an old tennis racket from the 60s. Didn't have a lot of collectible value to it. It's not worth a lot. I don't remember what she actually paid. This was an offer, maybe $21, $22. Not a huge sale. And I wrapped it just as I would anything, you know, on eBay. Nothing special. Shipped it right out to her. But she... He, I forget, he or she, but they went on to say, this item of collector's quality was shipped with exceptional care. The wood racket was so securely wrapped as if it was a delicate piece made of glass. Okay, I... I'm not sure. I think I would wrap, I know I would wrap glass more securely than I wrapped her racket, but that's fine. Showing the utmost respect to the customer. Well, yes, I appreciate you giving me money. You bet I respect that. Additionally, their communication was thoughtful, very considerate, and much appreciated. Easily self-recommending couple. I don't really know what that means, but easily self-recommending couple who I would not hesitate to do business with again highest marks. Wow. As soon as I see that immediate reply, immediate click the reply button. And I said, how kind of you to say those nice things. We hope this vintage McGregor gives you years of classic play and that it is a great addition to your vintage tennis collection. We appreciate you. Sincerely offered Janie and Greg. And that's just the pattern. And here's one with a picture again, another long one. Now this was kind of interesting. It's a, a Tupperware microwave dishes. It's I think it's called microware, this Tupperware like types of dishes. And I didn't really like the condition. I described it properly, but I was still a little bit concerned. It was a low dollar amount. I took maybe 12 bucks for it because I was a little bit worried. It was kind of beat up. Now I described it that way, but it had some marks and I was a little bit concerned that if the buyer didn't read my condition and look at every picture, they're going to see it's a little rough. And they replied with a long paragraph of positive feedback and a picture. And you can read their feedback if you want to, but I want to read my reply because you can steal my reply and you probably should steal a line out of it. My reply was, oh, 
username. You're so kind. What a wonderful thing to interact in business with people such as yourself. We often say that, now this is what you should steal. We often say that this is why we love eBay so much. After all these years, eBay is still people to people and family to family. That's the line you should steal. Just steal it from me. eBay has never become a faceless corporate giant. I'm implying Amazon in its feel, and we love that. We love the way we can get so many blessings from people such as yourself. I'm really stressing people and all of that. Thank you very much for taking the time to write those kind words. Sincerely offered, Janie and Greg. I think this helps the whole eBay environment to continue to promote that it's people to people. The reply to their good feedbacks help them feel appreciated even more. People here... I think it just helps the whole environment on eBay. I think over time, buyers who have a bad experience might be a little less of a jerk and realize, well, something went wrong. Maybe I could contact the seller and just see what can you do with, about this instead of just gut reacting with a real negative feedback right away. The more we personalize this platform, I think the better your selling experience will be and certainly the better the buyer experience will be. You should respond to all good feedback. And I think you'll be rewarded. I think you'll be rewarded emotionally. You'll be happier. You'll be more joyful whenever you get something like this. It's a great thing to reply. It's a great feeling to interact. And I want you to do exactly this. And I want you to do more of this. You'll be glad you did.